And then afterwards we say that God is punishing us. Yet we have brought punishment upon ourselves by ourselves. But God himself remains good. So one of them I have already mentioned. That we trust things that are not God. Yet we come here for church. And we recite the rosary. But what is found in our homes? <laughs> it is too much there. Amina Boluganda. But now get into two in a two men and a two gamma who see my yaka told a yamba ye yambi. Sometimes we say we have a slogan that God helps those who help themselves. Netu yamu church in a two saba. So we come here to church and pray. And then you have a stick that was given to you for your business. Uh, there you mean that God you are not able. And now we are complaining that your business is not progressing. And my things are stuck. That my family has got a confusion. So you examine yourself. Maybe you are the one who, who confused your family. What did you take with you when you're getting married? The aunties normally give us some herbs to put in the in the dish. And by the time you leave your father's house, you have put God aside. And then you are married with the devil in your marriage. Or, or you are already trusting something that is not trusted. That you take these herbs you put under the mattress. That you take this basket, put it somewhere, we will be making money. And then we come before God. And we tell him we surrender to you. We deny the devil and all his works. Yet we are 
telling lies to him. But you know what you have in your bed. So those things are the very ones disturbing you. And they are the ones putting you under bondage in everything. Because you made the thief go before you in your home, in your work. And wherever, in all areas, even our children, we give them to the devil. And so parents pick their children and take them to the shrine. And then they are cut all over the body. And they give them herbs to take. So you are binding them. And then your child uh, completes college. And they look for jobs they cannot find. And then you say we have said every prayer. You wonder why doesn't my child get a job? You, the parent, put your child under bondage when he or she was still young. Those herbs that you used to give him or her when he's going to school. You thought you are making it better for him. But you are giving death himself. You are giving him fire. And that fire will burn him. Over. And he will never be peaceful. Even if they marry, they will never be peaceful. And the quarrels and violence will not leave your family. Because we have gone astray, we no longer trust God. But we trust other things. So you take that stick, you think it is only a stick. That stick has become your God. And those local herbs that were given to you is now your God. You have just God out of your life. But now we complain that we have no joy in our life. But we did it by ourselves. We invited the devil to come in our lives. And we invited him to our homes. And we gave everything we own to him. We come from Kampala to the villages to, to correct our, our issues in the family. You are gathering death that will disturb you more. And you are organizing the fire that will destroy your monies. That we have gone to correct the spirits of our clan. That is all witchcraft trusting. That's why we pray to God and never receive. Because we are holding things that he doesn't want. We have put him aside. And chased him out of our lives. And chased him out of our homes. And chased him out of everything we owned. Because we used our freedom. Now how will he bind and bind you? Because we have bound ourselves. Amen. Amina We are holding things of the devil. And now we say we are chasing away the devil. He will not go. Because we have made him room. The devil, he doesn't have power at all. But we empower him ourselves. And he cannot come to us before we invite him. But we invite him 
keep ourselves because when we go to him and they give you whatever that you go and bathe this and they put conditions on that heart Believe me, you are worshipping other gods. Believe me, you are trusting other things. So your decision, you have to pay for it and your children pay and your grandchildren and all your descendants. That is why we are suffering today. We have brought the suffering ourselves. Well, our ancestors have sinned and we have to pay for their deeds. But even us are adding on to theirs. And then we bind more ourselves. And we make more covenants with the devil. That is why you see the devil is so hard working.
Amina wa Uganda. Omukaba mulungi. Banange tutele ya sitani. Let us live alone devil's things. Yetu asiba kobu bya chika. That's what we think they are for our crown. Omoyo kobusi kirira. You you are losing your soul. Babu bere ya bonne singa wetabula. So don't say that everybody is doing like this. Cholo kubanga sitade mutimu business ya gete tukole. That because I have no stick in my business I will not sell. Sikalo wo mo ka be ka tonda wa ga gamba chi. At least you alone think about your God.
Awantu wa wagazi na ye at least kemba wade muko buli omuwe checking e mubula mungu. It is a very wide topic but at least you examine yourself by what I have given you and see how you are now. Oyizo kubebi tubiba debi ganyo kutambula. Maybe your issues have refused to succeed. Na wemu za luachi tebi tambula. And you are wondering why don't I succeed. We checking e mubaka kantuko nake wali wakwata. So you check your Yourself, if you have touched anything and it is not divine you let it go so that the blessing of God is able to flow into you into your family into your work and all those things that are bound will be free and you will see them move on because you had closed the doors yourself the Lord is asking you to open up so that you can come in. And then you will see how my goodness flows. You will see how my life flows. That's why Jesus came. He wants us to have life. And life in its fullness. Not half. So that we can enjoy ourselves in the world. Amina Woluganda. Kazi Jaya Kagamba Kalada Luachi Nti. Nafetwe Siba. Another thing, why do we bind ourselves? Amani Gachi Gambo. The power of the word. Tia Woluganda Bantuaba Singa Twe Sibye. Many of us have put ourselves under bondage. When we are doing it ourselves, and then we hurt others, that maybe people are hurting us, but we are binding ourselves. You yourself, you bind yourself, and your family, and all people. Things are not moving because of the power of the word. That whatever word we bring out of our mouth has got a lot of power. It has power on it. The word is creative. When God was creating this world, He used only the words. Let water separate from land. So it was. So we share in that divinity. You know that whatever word you bring out of your mouth, it either brings life to you or brings death to you. So what are the words you normally bring out as you speak? Many of us are binding ourselves with the power of our words. You start a business. I don't know whether I will make money here. They say there is no money here. Okay, let me try. You will end up in a, a, lo a loser when your business is not working. Because you bind uh, you bound yourself in the beginning. Somebody comes and tells you you look so nice. Give me money, maybe you have a lot of money now. And then you say, poor me. Where can I get all that money? You are binding yourself in poverty. So even if a money blessing comes, because you proclaim poverty on yourself, you will remain poor. You will make money, but you don't use it for anything good. 
Because you proclaim poverty upon yourself. A job comes, they tell you go for the interview. Not And then you say, these days the job is taking you can't know who. Really, will I be able to get the job? Oh, can let me try to take there my papers? You had better not take there your applications. Because you have counted yourself out before you try to go. The power of the word is the one you're using. When we are in our homes, wherever we stay, and then we find our children, you wonder who is bewitching my children. But you, the parents, are binding your very children. Because the child has done something, especially ladies. You say you are a girl, you will see. You are binding the girl. When you are angry, you say you fools. You are binding them under foolishness. When the devil hears such words, he comes in to improve your words. Then you have a husband at home. When he goes out, your friend comes in. And then you say, I have survived this death. You proclaim death upon your man.